First of all, it's great to see you again, Mr. President, and uh, good to have you here for the uh, summit. And uh, we are going to discuss many important issues at the summit. Among them is defense spending. And we all agree that we have to do more. I agree with you that we have to uh, make sure that allies are investing more. The good news is that uh, allies have started to invest more in uh, defense. Uh, after years of cutting defense budgets, they have started to uh, add billions to the defense budgets. And uh, last year was the biggest increase uh, in defense spending across Europe and Canada in a generation. Why was that last year? It's also because of your leadership, because of your uh, clear message. And, uh, and, uh, they won't write that. But no, won't. I have said it before, and, and the, but the thing is that uh, uh, it really has... Uh, uh, it's, it, your message is having an impact, uh, and uh, we are going to build on that to make sure that we have further increases. Uh, you initiated last year that uh, all allies are going to develop national plans on how to spend more on defense. And based on these nas national plans, we now estimate that the European allies and Canada will add 266 uh, uh, extra US dollars uh, for defense from now until 20 uh, billion US dollars until uh, until 2024. So, so this is really adding some extra money. It helps, uh, and we are moving in the right direction. But we still, uh, but, oh, but we still have to uh, to do more, and that is what we're going to address at the summit later on today. Let me also add that that strong NATO is good for Europe, but it's also good for the United States. Uh, the U.S. military presence in Europe helps uh, to protect Europe. It also helps the United States project uh, uh, power to the Middle East, to Africa, and uh, I think also that the cloud, the military cloud of, uh, uh, of Europe, uh, the economic cloud, the political cloud, also is helpful dealing with, uh, with Russia. And we look forward to the meeting we're going to have with President Putin, uh, and I think that leaders are also looking forward to uh, your thoughts about the meeting with President Putin at, uh, later on. Uh. Well, I have to say, I think uh, it's very sad when Germany makes a massive oil and gas deal with Russia, where you're supposed to be guarding against Russia, and Germany goes out and pays billions and billions of dollars a year to Russia. So we're protecting Germany, we're protecting France, we're protecting all of these countries. And then numerous of the countries go out and make a pipeline deal with Russia, where they're paying billions of dollars into the coffers of Russia. So we're supposed to protect you against Russia, but they're paying billions of dollars to Russia. And I think that's very inappropriate. And the former chancellor of Germany is the head of the pipeline company that's supplying the gas.